Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play Kirby and the... I almost said Kirby and the Amazing Mirror there, no. Kirby Triple Deluxe DDD Tour Mode. We are continuing on here because we did... Okay, we didn't barely got any keychains that time. We finished up the third and fourth worlds in DDD Tour last time, and this time we're... Gonna be carrying on here through a world that I'm not a huge fan of, but they say we must press on and on and on, but we mustn't be careless. Can I? Do I not have an attack that can? Okay, yeah, my spin attack can destroy those. I was gonna say they. I thought they gave DDD like all the elements in this game. I just. I couldn't remember. I know they usually do that with, like, the Meta Nightmare modes and things like that. Anyways. If you head all the way down here, there is this here. Invincible candy. Another one up I really don't need at all. I know that was a sunstone in the original there. Probably should have kept that M tomato, but oh well. Don't need it here anyway, so. Oh, snake blocks. Uh, do I need to actually bother with this here? Yeah, last time we also talked a lot about Kirby Pack at ya, and just a lot of my memories with that show, and... Yeah. Another 1-Up. Can I'm surprised you don't really get keychains for this. You don't really need 1-Ups for much of anything in this mode. Like, yeah, they can be nice to have, but... We have 31 of them. You think we're gonna need that many? Hate these things. Oh, and this is one that I struggle with in the base game, too. <laughs> oh, shoot. Just barely. Oh, they do not give you much time to get through that one there. <laughs> Another one up, really? Oh, shoot. I missed. The... There was a secret around the corner there that I missed, but... Oh, well. I don't think it's probably much of anything there, to tell you the truth, but... Actually, like, I hate saying this, I'm kind of actually kind of running out of things to say here, which is not good, because we're, we still have a lot of DDD Tour left. I hate saying that. You might think, oh, well, you're in stage five now. We are. Also, I don't like the way, oh, crap. I don't like the way DDD swings his hammer underwater. He doesn't swing it in a circle like he probably should. There's a secret over this way, I think. Yeah. Oh, for... This secret iron? I don't know what this is. 
I, I don't really like how big Chungus Deity is here in that he can still kind of walk underneath things like that normally. Like, it just doesn't seem very natural to me. I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about that. Oh, crap. I know what this level is. Yeah, it's this. Shoot. There's no way this was the music in the original level, was it? This is way too calm to be the music from this section. Yeah, this goes on a while. I remember having to restart this a few times because of the weird burning puzzle here. Yeah, there's a secret area up here. Yeah, this confusing freaking place. Well, I like that we're, like, approximately halfway through this world already, because... I don't like this world very much. I don't know what's with the much bigger enemies here. I do find that kind of funny. Oh, what, I'm actually not gonna bother with this if I don't need to. I'm not saying there couldn't be one there, but I didn't see one there, and I. Don't know how much I really want to bother with that if there's not going to be a point to these puzzles here. Oh no, no. I'm reminded of the things I don't like about this game. Shoot. I just hated these stupid rooms here. section here that normally does require Archer, I think. Yeah. It's a good thing Deity has a range attack here now. Can this be a shortcut here, please? Yeah, it might be. Or no, I think I see a one-up off in the distance there. And I wish I knew why there were so many one-ups in this, but... That was not worth it. I do like how the ice cream does have, like, the DDD sign as well. That, is that really it for this world? I don't know why Wild World went on, like, literally twice as long as this. Oh, no, never mind. This is the boss rush level. Never mind. So yeah, Kirby 64 music again. I haven't actually replayed Kirby 64 again lately. I, I've replayed a lot of Kirby games lately. I replayed 64, like, not too long ago, which I replayed that also back in, like, April of this year, too. I don't know, I've just been in a very big mood to want to replay that lately for some reason. This is a remix of a song from that game. That's the only reason I'm bringing that up there. And, um, I replayed Kirby Squeak Squad, like, a week ago as well. I'm not really sure why, I just, I felt like I was in the mood to replay that game again for some reason. I always 
did like Squeak Squad more than most, I think. It, that might be a bit of nostalgia there a little bit. Like, it's definitely one of the easiest games in the Kirby series, but... I don't know, I always just enjoyed playing that anyway. I'd rather a game be like a simple breeze rather than something that I pull my freaking hair out to. Also, I never actually went the left path here. I probably should maybe do that just to show some of these left path options off here. You dumb blockhead! And taking the left path again. You're actually no, never mind. There's only the one option here. Yeah, remember when I was saying these guys just almost feel like they take a bit too many hits? Those, like, blue guys with the Helmosaur things on them? I always did feel like they just took just a little too many hits myself, but... Oh, well. It is what it is sometimes, I guess. It is what it is. Yeah, this is... Okay, yeah, this is the end of the world here, which... This might be a little rough, because... Fribbit might be a little rough. Mm-hmm. Of course you had to drop your hammer. I'm also realizing that I haven't shown any of the boss descriptions since... Flowery Woods, um, I don't know, I'll probably show them whenever we go through some later on things. I don't know what just hit me there, because... I'm pretty sure I was jumping to the side of him there. I don't like this boss. I've said that so many times, and I'm standing by it. Like, I used to complain that every boss was this bad, and no, I'm gonna be real here. Not every boss is let's camp in the background the entire fight. Why was I caught by that? I was trying to fly their game. Fribbit is very much a let's camp in the background and that's that type of fight. I don't like that about this fight at all. And, like, the other bosses in the game that are like this... I don't like that side of things. This boss just has too much health. No, not this. This is gonna get bad. Got him before he jumped back. Thank God. Oh, that's it for Endless Explosions.
I want you to keep in mind my time right now, by the way. Just trust me on that. Any keychains? Yeah. Kirby. Welcome to Royal Road, which, uh, as we all know, I didn't like this level in the original version here. The one thing I will compliment DDD Tour, it is so brisk playing these levels without the Hypernova stuff. And, uh, this isn't how Royal Road started. This is not how Royal Road started. <laughs> Do you know what level this is? Does this look familiar to you? So, here's the deal. We're back in extra stage one right now. Royal Road in DDD Tour starts off with basically replaying every single extra stage. And I don't understand that at all. I think this is still extra stage one because this still looks like we're in fine fields here. So how many blocky deluxes are we gonna have to fight here? This is like the third time in a row here we fought a blocky deluxe. So I'm getting good at fighting him, although I doubt I'm gonna use hammer much going forward, but you never know. You never know. Uh that was it for the first level of fine fields EX there. Yeah, now we're in Lollipop Land. We have to play all of these levels here before we even go in to Royal Road, which, as you know, is a long-ass world. I don't actually remember how much of Royal Road we play here because, like, keep in mind, a big chunk of that was either boss rematches or, like, a lot of Hypernova stuff. I don't know how much of that we really have to play in DD Tour. I don't think it's that much. I could be mistaken about that, but I generally don't remember it being that much. So yeah, I think, here's the thing, for the rest of this video, I am probably gonna show off just the, like, stage replay stuff of... Oh shoot. Let's try that again. Probably just gonna show off, like, the stage, like, the extra stage section of this. Oh, yeah, I definitely do. Okay, that's definitely what you have to do there. Yeah, still, we're still in lollipop land, so this is gonna take, like, a while before we actually move on to new. Oh, yeah, this is another weird one, isn't it? There's a key on, like, one of these here, I think. Yeah. Again, I remember all these weird things from the Let's Play, just the weird rooms that only give us an empty tomato, which was not worth it at all, because I had full health anyway, I'm pretty sure. I do like all this Return to Dreamland music they use here, though. I mean, this is a great song here, but... Again, it's... A part of me hates saying, like... I love all this Return to Dreamland music because a part of me is, like, wishing I could say some more about, like, the Triple Deluxe soundtrack in some ways. Like, most of it's fine. I have nothing really wrong with the Triple Deluxe soundtrack, but most of the songs I remember tend to be the Return to Dreamland ones. Am I finally out of Lollipop Land? Yes. Ah, Grape Garden again. Again, what I said... A second ago about wishing I could remember more of this game's soundtrack versus the Return to Dreamland one. This song is amazing. It's a remix of Grape Garden from Kirby's Adventure. 
It's, I swear this sounds more like an epic yarn song than a Return to Dreamland one, but that might just be why it's such a good one. This really is a great, great song. Uh, hold on, hold on. There's sometimes a secret in this. Beach music? Yes. <laughs> I showed that to one of my friends and she was like, why did they play the beach song here? <laughs> that is a good question. Why do they play the oh, beach song so? Again, I do wish you got more keychains from this mode. I don't know why you don't necessarily, but... Also, Return to Dreamland music again. It's the nature of replaying every extra stage. I want this. I assume I can get another attempt at that. Yeah, okay, I can. Those lags should be really nice. Those keychains. Yeah, I, I... I don't know if this is just a me thing or not, but I genuinely feel like I didn't need to include the... the extra stages for all of these, like... all the extra stages in a row for this, like start of World 6. World 6 is already long enough as is. I'm just gonna say for the record, my playtime on my other file that I have done DDD Tour on, the playtime for just this world alone is over an hour. It's barely over an hour, but it's still, like, that's how long this took me to complete my first time. Like, that's how long the DDD Tour mode really goes on for, and that, to me, that's just... Like, j just World 6, rather. To me, that's just a little too long. Still going on here. Alright, sorry about the brief cut there. I was just taking a quick bathroom break while we had the middle of the rest area there. Oh boy, this again. I think we're kind of at this point where we've seen so much of this, so... I feel like I may honestly just kind of start speeding some things up here and maybe if I have anything interesting to talk about now I might say something, but... I don't know, I feel like at this point we've seen a lot of things of DDD Tour for a long time and whatnot, so... I think maybe I might narrate some things in post-commentary, but otherwise we're gonna be kind of at that point now, I think. Alright, so yeah, I am doing the super speed post-commentary thing for pretty much the rest of this video. I've unfortunately said kind of my piece on this already, but I kind of don't have much more to say about DDD Tour that hasn't already been said, or even just this game in general. I'll stand by that I think my opinion of this game has improved a lot, but I still take issues, some issues with this game for the, with the amount of fluff that it has. I don't like that many of these extra stages and the fact you have to do basically all of them at once before the start of an already very long world to me that's just that's excessive and I was at the point where I was starting to get burnt out not to mention at the time I was recording this and this could have partially been my own fault because I recorded all of DDD tour and the arena in one sitting um, my throat was starting to get very dry by the end of this point, so, like, 
I kind of was using this as a chance to kind of just not talk too much. Which actually did help a lot. Like, that was kind of the thing that kept me sane during this, was just getting to rest my voice for most of that. I kind of felt like I needed that break. And, yeah, we have another one of these puzzles here. <clears throat> I don't think this stuff is bad in hindsight. It's just, it just goes on a lot. Well, I won't lie, that did catch me off guard. Alright, sorry, I had to leave that one in there. That was a pretty funny outtake. I genuinely didn't see the hand was, like, coming out of the background at the time, and yeah, that was a thing. Uh, luckily, I did catch a glimpse of that warp portal there, which let me skip most of this, thankfully. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot of interesting things in Triple Deluxe. Come on! Jank like that, too. But, yeah. Fortunately, I think we are kind of almost done with the super speed for this, but I'm just going to say it up front. Uh, the next video is also going to start with about half a video of super speed, because genuinely i didn't really have much to say about royal road either unfortunately like i already don't like that world very much to begin with but it didn't really leave the most to be desired and i okay i didn't even remember dying there but all right yeah i remember this room gave me a lot of crap in the main game there yeah, we are actually coming up pretty close in the end of the super speed. I think we're pretty much, this might be like the last section here, and of course it's one of these sections. Anything really I find that disrupts the pace of the game, I feel like that's one of Triple Deluxe's weaker points as a whole. I'm not saying I think Kirby needs to be like super fast paced and consistent, but I don't know. And with that, that's it for the super speed. With all that, we have finally come to a rest area here. 23 minutes in, into this one level in DDD Tour. This is longer than any previous level in DDD Tour. And we're just now beginning the world that this is based on. Can you see why I think this game kind of just overstays its welcome at the end? Uh... Next time on Kirby Triple Deluxe, we're going to continue on through Royal Road and hopefully finish this up, maybe this, pro it could be a potentially long video, but we'll see how far we can get done. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.